Well, the New Zealand Rugby Stars cookbook showcases some of our very own rugby superstars' favourite recipes. Current All Blacks, including Kieran Reid, feature, as well as retired heroes such as Richie McCaw and Sean Fitzpatrick. And, of course, Sonny Bill Williams, because that's what Chef Mark's are whipping up. Royalties from the book go to... Well, he's not whipping up Sonny Bill Williams, but he's whipping up his fish pie. <laughs> Royalties from the book go to the New Zealand Rugby Foundation, which is a charity set up to support catastrophically injured rugby players, both financially and emotionally, as well as to advocate safe play as well. Now we have CEO Lisa Kingy Bond with us right now. Welcome Lisa. Thank you. Thank you for having us. What a pleasure to have you here. First up, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where does this passion for rugby come from? Well, I'm um, brought up in a very sporting family. i um, dragged off to rugby and cricket um, by mum and dad from a young age. And then just really lucky enough to end up where my first role in rugby was in the early 90s back in South Africa um, with the Natal, well then the Natal Rugby Union. And then it just went on from there, you know, that, that the Rugby World Cup, 95, and then... So you've always worked in rugby? That's all I've ever done. And when I got here 18 years ago, um, I went straight to New Zealand Rugby and then World Cup and now here, which is just the best job of my life. Well, so. I was just going to say that. What a nice combination of something that you love, but also what you're giving back to the community. So tell us a bit more about what the New Zealand Rugby Foundation do. OK. Look, it was formed in 1986 by the late um, Cal Tremaine, and really they formed it to assist areas of rugby in need. It wasn't specifically in terms of rugby injury then. We've become a lot more focused over the years. Um, we've got, I've got the most incredible board of directors, and over the years they started finding all these guys in wheelchairs. OK. Mm -hmm. So we then proactively went out. We, uh, we think, we hope we've got everyone. The first guy on record was injured in um, 1966 and he's coming up 74 years this year. Wow. Um, we also give them their numbers, so he's VIP number one. Um, and then the most recent is, um, <clears throat> was injured last year, who's VIP number 105. So, so yeah, um, I'll, I'll just hop onto that quickly because of course it's, 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 it's rugby and we, we call these guys our VIPs. Yeah. Okay, so it's because we like to treat them like VIPs, but it's it's very injured players. Mm. Okay, that's that's what it stands for. So, so what sort of help can you offer the injured players? Um, we we always make sure we're working really collaboratively with ACC. Who uh, you know, ACC do get a bad rap, but they are it's the most incredible insurance policy any other country in the world says you get what. I mean, it's amazing what they. Mm. So we make sure we don't double up. Um, so we love education. Um, it, it's really absolutely case by case. We do a lot of home maintenance. Um, we support their guys in terms of their sporting pursuits. We've got about four guys finishing off PhDs at the moment. Wow. Um, and and not, it's not just them, you know, it, it's the whole family. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can just, well, I'll give you another example at the moment. We've got um, parents of one of our players on holiday in Thailand, and they haven't had a holiday since 2011 when he was injured. So we right. just said, we're giving you a koha, off you go, and nice. have fun. Oh, yeah, nice. So, yeah. so brilliant support, but also promoting safe play, which we love. <coughs> what are some of the rugby stats for injured players? Um, there are 105 on record since 1966, OK? Um, this is going to sound quite amazing. Mm. There were 82 new spinal cord injuries in New Zealand last year, and wow. only one was rugby. Okay. Well, because okay. the perception is right. probably that it's higher. Yeah. Look, we, we are rugby. We accept that. We, you know, the national game, etc. 155,000 registered rugby players playing 40, 40 mm. weekends a year. And obviously our massive, wonderful growth of women's rugby. Um, one serious accident is too many. And obviously um, between New Zealand Rugby and ACC and their prevention program, everyone tries absolutely their hardest, especially around right now, the work that's been done, the research work around concussion, mm. um, and just keeping the game as safe as possible. The level of awareness and also, you know, players starting to look after themselves and each other. And you guys are responsible for Rugby Smart as well, aren't you? So, so we're not. That, that's owned by New Zealand Rugby and ACC. They, they, they deliver a fantastic programme. In fact, a player, a coach, a manager, they're not allowed to play or to ref for anything unless they've done Rugby Smart annually, OK? Our job is to communicate it. Nice. Mm. Brilliant. So, Very important. Yeah. Uh, so your patrons too, Richie McCaw and Sir Graham Henry? Yeah, aren't we lucky? <laughs> yes. How did you get them on board? I mean... Um, Ted's doing, oh sorry, I called him Ted, everyone calls him Ted. He's doing a lot of radio for us tomorrow. Um, he is just incredible. He, he just waited until, he, he waited until he was finished, or he thought he was finished, and he's back coaching Auckland Rugby now. Exactly, he's never going to be finished. Um, but he just, <laughs> oh man, he just gives and gives and gives and gives so much of his time, you know. And Richie, similarly, he was actually, um, 
the late Sir Colin Meads was our previous patron, and we, we lost Sir Colin and Sir, Sir John Graham last year, so mm. it was really horrible, horrible mm. for us. But Sir Colin actually drove up from Tekoiti to our AGM last year, and he nominated Richie. Nice. Okay, so passing on that man, that that mantle, and we we know, look, you know, it's a lot. Richie's we we're really respectful that Richie's yeah. making a new life for himself with his wonderful wife and all the rest of it. So we we're not expecting a lot okay. from him. No, Tell me a little so. bit about the book. What's the story with this? Okay, so the the players, all of them, the male and the female players, actually gave us their own recipes. They're not play play recipes, okay? They're real recipes. They're not fake recipes. No. They're real ones that they cook. And then Good to know. They were, but the publisher Alan and Unwin actually, you know, have a proper professional chef, and everything's recipe tested, so they're 100% perfect, just the way they are. Wonderful variety, from really really simple to a lot more complicated, and across the gamut, from beautiful raw fish. Yeah. Um, to ben roast. Smith's, yeah, look at that. Ben Smith's roast chicken looks yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, Richie McCaw's looks pretty good too. Yeah, that one, right yeah, now. that looks good too. It's and healthy. I can it's super healthy. I was no going to say super healthy burger. and full of protein, yeah. perfect fuel for athletes yeah, exactly. and for the for the mind. And and very health conscious. A, a lot of them. I was actually quite surprised. Quite a quite a number of um, the players are vegan. Wow, okay, I didn't know out. that. Yeah, there you go. So you can learn a lot, aren't yeah. you, getting this yeah, book? Yeah, cool. Good photos too. I love well. it. Yeah. Hey, well, it's a great book. Thank you so much. Yeah, great idea. You it. can have it. Thank you. Please raising don't. funds for... Oh, well, pay for it, actually. It's raising funds for <laughs> a good cause. And you can find out more about the Rugby Foundation by checking out their website. The New Zealand Rugby Stars Cookbook is available now from all great bookstores. And we are looking forward to seeing how Sunny Bill's family fish pie turns out.